Hi everyone, this is Cassie from The Crafty Crow and today I'm going to show you how to make flower fans from recycled cardboard. And I'm going to be using some of the materials and tools that I received in my craft it kit from Elmer's. So first you're going to need some cereal box uh, pantry cardboard. Open it out and then you need to make a circle about 7 inches. Here I've just used a jar lid to trace around that was about the right size. Okay, you know, trace your two circles and then cut them out. So you end up with your circle. And from, you can make your flower just from the circle if you'd like, or if you'd like to have petals, then you need to take one of your circles and cut out little notches for the flower petals, place it face down on your other circle, trace it, and then cut that out. So you end up with two flowers. Next you want to paint them and I'm using acrylic paint and a foam brush and you just start in the middle and brush outwards to cover with your base color and then go back after it's dry and use your foam brush or a smaller brush to paint in some details. You can also use the painter's pens and add some details as well. So here's what it looks like when it's painted and you want to make sure that you paint obviously both sides the same same pattern. So while those are drying you're going to make the stem of your flower and you do that just with a popsicle stick and you can cover it, paint it with a painter's pen if you'd like. You don't need to cover the last top third or you can use the designer tape and cover it and again you just need to cover just do it like that and wrap it around and you don't need to cover that top third there. So now your flowers are probably dry and you're going to go back and you're going to glue your popsicle stick onto the flower. And about one third you just want to make sure that that part is going to be hidden. Then you take the other side and you're going to glue it down like that. I used the quick dry dual tip pin and it's nice it has a fine tip on one end and on the other end it has a wider tip and it helps spread it around. So you want to cover it really well all around there. Match up the sides and if they don't match up exactly don't worry because you can use the little precision tip scissors to trim it after it's already dried. So after you have the glue down I usually like to put it under a couple of books, heavy books, until it's dried really well and then your flower is all done. Now you have a little flower fan to keep you cool all summer. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it.